Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at lifecycle hooks inside Livewire. So basically, lifecycle hooks are a way for you to execute a piece of code at different points on your Livewire components request lifespan. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. I'm going to open up the Livewire documentation. And if you guys, if you guys go under essentials, there is a section on lifecycle hooks. And the explanation is basically what I just gave you guys. But there are a bunch of different hooks available. And these hooks or these methods are executed at different points in time when a request is made. So for example, we have already covered mount. So mount is actually a lifecycle hook, right? So it's like a constructor. It's executed when your component is created. Uh, there is hydrate. Now I haven't covered hydration and dehydration. So I'm kind of be skipping this one. Uh, there is boot. So boot is kind of similar to mount, except it's executed on every single request, right? So if you need something happening at the beginning of every request, you can go ahead and use boot. And then there is updating, updated, rendering, rendered, and, you know, dehydrate, right? And the names are kind of descriptive, guys. Obviously, updating happens just before a property is updated, and then updated is after it's updated. Same for rendering and rendered. So if you want to use any of these, just come over to the documentation, read the description, see if it matches your use case, and then add that method on your liver component. So for today, I have a simple liver component, which is basically a registration page. And I have used this a few times on the course, guys. And if we take a look at the PHP file, it's a simple liver component. I have these four properties over here. And then to kind of illustrate how these hooks work, I have already actually gone ahead and added all these methods. Okay, so if you want to use, for example, mount, we already covered how to use mount already, but basically just add a method of mount, right? If you want to use hydrate, just add this method of hydrate. Same for boot, updating, and updated. Now for updating, and updated is a little bit different from the rest. So for updating, you need to also have this property and value argument, uh, you know, so you know which property is being updated and also the new value. Uh, same for updated and then for rendering rendered and dehydrate these are just simple methods okay so you can just go ahead and add them and for testing purposes i have just added a dump so we can see what is happening okay so let's go back to our component i'm going to reload it and if you guys look over here and let me zoom in a little bit more we are getting boot then we are getting mounted now boot and mounted are very similar when you initially run your uh, your component the only difference is boot is executed every time, but mount is only executed one time. Now, on my testing, it seems like boot is executed before mount, but technically they are kind of executed at the same time, at the beginning of your library component. Then we have rendering, rendered, and dehydrate is the last event executed or the last hook executed, right? Now, we don't have anything regarding, uh, you know, hydration and update, things like that, because we haven't really updated any properties yet, right? This was just the, the initial load. So if I go ahead and I type something in, in one of these inputs, and for these inputs, I'm using wire model live. So they happen live. I'll Let's say I'll type in etch. We get a new dump. So we get boot. So this time we are no longer getting mount, okay? And if you look at the description, mount is only called when the component is created. So it's only executed one time. So we no longer get mount, but we get boot. So if you want something happening multiple times, you can go ahead and use boot. Uh, we got hydrated, then we get updating name right because i updated name we get updating again updated name then we have rendering rendered and dehydrate at the end so basically the these methods are executed from top to bottom okay except for boot is kind of uh, seems to be executed before mount but it's from top to bottom that's the order of these hooks so if you want to use any of them just come to the documentation read the description see if it matches what you need and then go ahead and add it on your liver component. So that's the use case. They are very easy to use. You just need to know these exist. So for uh, testing purposes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. And I'm going to go ahead and only take a look at updated today. So I'll remove all of these as well. So uh, for updated, for example, one thing you could do is I could, for example, say if uh, property is equal to name. So if the name property was updated, then go ahead and make it an upper case. Okay, just an ex as an example, so I'm going to say str to upper this dot name. Okay, so I'm going to listen for this updated hook, and if the name changes, I'll set it back to uppercase, right? So let's do a quick reload. I'll type something in as 
as I'm typing in, you guys, as you can see, it's being updated to uppercase, right? Just like that. So that's one of the possible use cases for hooks, right? So it depends on your application. It's a more advanced thing on something you need more on more complex components. For basic components, you may never need to use hooks at all. Now for updated, there is another way you can use it. You can also use it on for a single property. So for this one, it's kind of, you're getting the property name here. You can use it for more dynamic use cases. But if you want to perform updated hook for a single property, you can also do it this way to public function updated name. And then, uh, you know, I can go ahead and actually move the logic inside here. Okay. So it will be kind of identical to what we had before. So if I come over here and I type something in, we get the exact same functionality. So that's another way of using updated if you need. Now, from my personal experience, I've been using LiveWare for at least two years now. I personally have only used mount, boot, uh, updating, updated, and I think I only used dehydrate one time. I haven't used rendering and rendered. I just haven't encountered any use cases where I had to use them. So I'm going to assume uh, mount, boot, and these three are probably the most common used ones besides mount, because obviously you need mount when you're initializing things. Uh, that's kind of a given. But yeah, these three probably are going to be what you probably need. But it depends on your use case. So if you encounter a problem that may need hooks, just check out the documentation, read the description, and then use the appropriate method for your use case, guys. So that's it, guys, for today's episode. Very simple topic. It's just something you need to be aware of in case you encounter an issue that needs it. It's not very commonly used especially if you have very simple components. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. And as always, make sure to subscribe so you get notified of the latest episodes. And I see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.